Have you ever wondered the meaning behind pi? No, not the pi you eat, the mathematical pi. Today's lesson on pi will feature Sally and one of her crazy mathematical adventures. You may recognize this Greek letter, pi, from math class. It's actually a number. It's mostly approximated by 3.14, but it's actually an irrational number, which means it goes on forever. Let's meet Sally. Today she was excited to learn about circles and some of the parts and formulas that go with them. But when she got home, she just couldn't understand what pi had to do with circles. Why was it in all those formulas? But then she had an idea. Maybe she could use a pi to help her discover pi. The adventure had begun. She gathered up the tools she was going to need. Some string, a tape measure, and a marker. Oh, and of course, the pie. She carefully measured the diameter of the pie, the distance from one side to the other, passing through the center. After marking the distance with a marker, she used the measuring tape to find out the length of the diameter in inches. Then it was time to measure the circumference of the pie. She learned in class that this is the distance around a circle. Sally tried to be as accurate as possible with her measurements. She used the marker to mark the point where the string came together. The circumference was much bigger than the diameter and came out to be an almost perfect 30 inches. So Sally looked at her data. From these two numbers, where could pi come into the picture? But then it hit her. What about division? Sally decided to divide these two numbers and see how they were related. She divided the circumference by the diameter and got about 3.15. Wow, this was very close to that 3.14 approximation of pi. Sally knew she was on to something. Could pi really just be the ratio of circumference and diameter? Sally then tracked down every circle she could find in her house. She wanted to try this again to see if she got the same result. She was surprised to see how many circles there are in things she used every day. She couldn't wait to do some more measuring. With the oil diffuser in her room, she came up with a 3.13 when she divided the numbers, again very close to that 3.14. When she divided the circumference and diameter of a can of tomato sauce, she came up again with a number very close to pi. Even though Sally was as accurate as possible with her measurements, there's always room for human error. But still, she was able to see similar results with her candle. Finally, it was the dog bowl that sealed the deal. Dividing its circumference and diameter came extremely close to the value of pi. Moral of the story, circumference divided by the diameter of any circle, any size, will always be pi, about 3.14. Try it yourself. In fact, young Sally will soon learn that pi can be used in many formulas and in other mathematical applications. Pi is everywhere. So after her adventure, Sally was relieved to now understand the purpose of pie. Oh, and I have a slice too.